Kendrick Lamar's Drake diss track has been in the top 10 of Billboard songs charts since its release, and it's still got gas in the tank Kendrick Lamar is back on top of the Billboard Hot 100 charts, as Not Like Us returned to the number one spot this week after the release of its music video. Moreover, it becomes his longest-running chart topper with two weeks, and it follows shifts within the top 10 of the charts since the song's initial release. Specifically, it was at number three last week, and shuffled between spots two and six in the eight weeks between its two chart-topping weeks. All in all, this goes to show that there is still a lot of interest in bumping this song over and over, and we'll see how long the hype lasts. Furthermore, whether or not you think that Kendrick Lamar and company are milking this Drake beef and not like us, it seems like most people are just content with enjoying the moment and the song instead of roping and drizzy into everything. For example, Kendrick supporter and fellow West Coaster WAC 100 chose to recently talked about the music video itself, arguing that there's still a lot of gang unity needed in Los Angeles that this video couldn't achieve. As such, everyone's got this moment in the rearview mirror still. We're not fully demanding more, but we're not wholly forgetting about it anytime soon either. Also, this comes as Not Like Us is possibly gaining life as an anti-Kendrick Lamar sentiment, at least according to fans. Diehards were quick to comment on Lil Wayne singing the hook of the song during a recent performance of the Drake collab The Motto, and he sang They Not Like Us, while seemingly holding his OVO pendant. Did Wheezy say that to troll KDOT and use his words against him or is he just singing the hook for fun and making light of the battle? Either way, conspiracy theories and hypothetical rap battle matchups are rampant. Meanwhile, we'll see whether or not Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us will have more chart-topping weeks, or if this is its last breath as a number one hit. We're sure people will still play the track regardless, so we'll see how far they can take it. As folks learn of his and Dave Free's creative process for PG Lang, there's a lot of excitement over what could come next. So let's strap in, keep enjoying this West Coast banger if we want to, and wait patiently for the next astonishment.